Hey, hey you guys, Keto Diamond here, or Joni right now, since this is not a Keto video. What I have here is a Dollar Tree, Dollar General haul, 90% related to fall and Halloween, and a couple little extra things that we just needed. So I'm going to show, show you what I got, then I'm going to decorate the house with them as best as I can decorate, and I'll show you what it looks like. I only wanted to really do this because I'm kind of impressed with some of the stuff I was able to grab. Um, they really have some nice Halloween stuff, especially for cheap. So, let's get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, everything you ain't done yet. I do all kinds of different stuff all the time. Mostly keto and weight loss related, but hey, you never know what you might see. I've got a grandbaby down here with me too. Come on up. Come on up, sweetheart. I know that. You can do it. There you go. Who is that? Can I put you down so I can show my haul video now? I mean, you're the best thing, but I didn't haul you. No, 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 no. I don't want a bounce right now. She's a bouncy baby. <laughs> and your hair's coming down, huh? Grandma's got to put it back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Brian. She loves the bounce. <laughs> she does. Alright, can you go play for a minute? Can you go play for a minute? Don't latch on. She's going to latch on. <laughs> How did I make you a mama's girl? I didn't mean to be. Why don't you go over there and play with Daddy for a minute? <laughs> you need to give me some raspberries. Best part of the video, hands down. Couldn't make me do that noise at the time. This one knows how to pinch loose fat. Let me tell you. Razor blades on the claws, huh? You guys stick it down for a minute. You guys stick it down for a minute. I'll be right back. I didn't turn it. I thought I turned it off. I have no use for these, but look at these. Are they not cute? Oh, I wish I had use for them. <laughs> We're a different one. Now a smaller one. The baby girl might be a little bit loud, but she's happy playing. I'm going to start showing you the things I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, like I said, most of it is Halloween and uh, fall related, but not all of it. I got these. <laughs> yes, the eyeballs are lit up because of the solar panel. I'm trying to make sure you can see it good. But I got two of these. I've got them on my windowsill right now in the kitchen. They kind of, they're kind of cool. I might point them inward instead of outward because all they're doing is blinding me at night when I try to go into the kitchen. Um, but they're really kind of cool looking. And they're skulls. I want to do it where it's not whited out, but the camera is being kind of stupid. So, neat. More like a chalky kind of, chalky glass kind of feeling. I don't know. She's big on skulls. I, I do. I love skulls. Which I like them too. Yeah, I think most people do now, to be honest with you. Then I got this little black skull. Well... It's some kind of sheen to it, like a colorful sheen. I don't really know what you call that. I should know. Gun metal. Like gun metal. Yeah, there you go. But it's it's very, very pretty. And that's glass, too. This is my favorite part of the haul. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. I've already started burning these candles. Normally, Dollar Tree candles, I don't even bother with because they don't have much of a smell. The wicks are usually messed up, stupid. They don't act right. The candles just don't burn right, and they don't release a good scent most of the time. So, when we sniffed these, I was pleasantly surprised by how much smell they have. And these are pumpkin spice. I'm going to go ahead and show you a brand new one. Yeah, especially this time of year. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is all you hear. Pumpkin pie around this time of year is my favorite. 
I think everybody loves that. I mean, apparently, because it's so very popular. But I'm going to show you what this is, because like I said, I've done burnt these. But this is what it came looking like. And again, it is pumpkin spice. It's the best one out of all the ones they sell, I think. Yeah, it's, it's the only one at Dollar Tree I thought smelled good. And when I opened them, my daughter's like, mmm, that smells so nice. And like later I was burning them, people were talking about how nice they smell. That's rare for a Dollar Tree candle. So I also got two beautiful candle holders. I do like those. I love these. I, I've already got them dirty. You see, I've already been burning them. I actually went back for more today, but I went to another Dollar Tree and they didn't have them. So we'll go back to the other Dollar Tree later. And again, I got two of those. And I'll show you where I have them put in just a minute. I ended up getting another one today from Dollar Tree, but they didn't like so they didn't have that candle holder, so I went and got this one. This is gonna go on the back of the kitchen sink. Alright. Okay. This was something awesome hubby picked up or showed me. It says, Beware the wicked witch and her little monsters live here. Is that not perfect? You know, usually I that am not stay up all year long, but it's true. Usually I'm not a fan of orange. But this dark burnt kind of glimmer orange, I'm, I'm, I'm jiving on that. I'm absolutely loving it. It's one of my favorite colors. I really do love that. I think it's so beautiful. Um, so that's that. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the orange, check him out. I didn't realize these are supposed to light up. See, I got this one here with the hole in it. But while we were at Dollar Tree today, they had things with the little bottoms, a little switch, and they lit up inside. So I, felt, I feel a little bit... Um, yeah, see, it says lights up. I take it back. I feel a little pooped. They don't take anything back at Dollar Tree. Nothing. I don't care what it is. They don't take it back. But the color, you know what? I, I'm still loving that color. I don't mind at all. Now, we went back today and got some more things from Dollar Tree. Oh, well, I'll show you those in a sec. Did I tell y'all I love sugar skulls? I don't know if I told y'all or not. But check this pretty thing out. This is staying up all year round. I don't care. Um... It's going to hang back back on the door where I got it pit, put, picked it up from. It's actually a good material. It's uh, good and hard. It's not going to be easy to break unless you do something to it. Hold on, little lady. Now you may not steal my sugar skull stickers. Little stink pot. Don't get mad. You ain't supposed to have those. And then I got this. And it's made out of that same material. It's probably not going to hold up as well. You see it's just taped down a string kind of holding it together. So it's multiple different ones. But it's very, very pretty. No, she's after the sugar skulls. I think she likes them too. I actually wanted to show you guys this later because this came from Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Um, which they might sell them at Dollar Tree too, but I found it at Dollar General for a buck. But look at these. These are window clings. They're going to go on the outside of the, the front door. I'm in love. Like, like I said, I could do sugar skulls all day. And that came from Dollar General again. Alright, now... These are some of the things going on back of the kitchen window. It's adorable. Got a little golden pumpkin, shiny. I thought I was sticking between my legs. I think that's really, really cute. Very fall harvest kind of thing. And then another little glimmery pumpkin, but not as glimmery. Still really, really pretty. I love Dollar Tree. But I don't know how some people shop there and have room to put stuff away because, well, I mean, I live in a small house, but no, baby. No, baby, girl. You live in a shoebox. Yeah, I live in a shoebox. I'm like old Mother Hubbard who lives in a shoe with all her children and grandchildren. You live in the shoe and gave you the box. <laughs> yeah, she might have. Um, hey, the box is bigger than the shoe, though. The size of the home don't matter. It's the love coming out of the home. That's absolutely true. We also grabbed some things for our oldest grandson because he said he wanted to be a ninja this year. This stuff is kind of cheap made, so it might not actually work for that, but he can still have fun with it. It's a plastic ninja mask. He's got the little ninja jacket and a teeny tiny little ninja sword. I think those are cute. <laughs> I've showed them all that. Did I show you this candle holder? I don't know if I did or not. All right, so this is something amusing or that you're gonna find amusing. These are eyeshadows, and I actually used them today. They're quite muted now. It's been a long time since I put them on, but I put the pink on the inside and the purple kind of on the outside, and they actually were really, really pretty when I first put them on. Let me show you something amusing. My daughter decided to do this to her face last night with eyeshadow. 
Yeah, uh, she did a, um, uh, what do you call that, the video? Hell, yeah, all the kids. <laughs> she did one of those videos where she walked in the house, and I'm like, what the? But I can't show it to you, because there's quite a bit of cussing in it. You know what you think you're you on. You know what? Excuse my language, but I wasn't expecting that, so I'm just going to show it right here. Now, the one she done with Destiny, there's a lot, a lot of cussing, but the one she did with me was kind of muted, and Zach did something hilarious, so check it out. Baby's in the middle of the floor. No. What in the world? Zach, turn the door. What the? <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> so, are we going for Braveheart here? Mm -hmm. Never show your daddy. No, I don't think I should. Go show your daddy. All right. No, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize uh, later. Um, anyway, I got some snacks for the grandbabies or the grandsons while I was at Dollar Tree. Because you know they got plenty of snacks. Snacks. Dada. Central. Yeah, Dada. We got him some lemon cookies because I can't afford them lemon, lemon uh, good fats bars for it. And the lemon cookies taste the same. And we got two packages of these because him and Anthony both love and adore them. The little breadsticks with the cheese. The boys, they, they love those. And remember, they're not keto. so Or they don't have to be yet. But should they ever need to be, Grandma has the skill to help them out. Now let's get to this. Oh, no, one more thing. Da, 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 da. Y'all remember a little while back, uh, one of you fine, wonderful people sent me a shower curtain. Um, well, she was also kind enough to send me the interior shower curtain because I didn't know that shower curtain was for looks and it was not waterproof. So she sent me the waterproof uh, shower liner too. Well, for some reason, I don't think it's been hanging in there like too much yet. And it's already really moldy on the bottom. The tub could use a bleach anyway, I'm sure. So today I'm just going to fill it up with water and then add some bleach, the cheap stuff from Dollar Tree because I, I don't really keep bleach in the house much but that needs to be done because that or I might just take it down and wash it but like I said, the tub needs bleach anyway so what you got? Okay, you got a toy, it's fine now we also got these are Zach's favorite things for breakfast so I went ahead and picked up a box they're like the mini chocolate muffins oh, sorry, chocolate brownie muffin things yeah, I know. Not keto friendly, but again, not for me. And I don't want to hear it. I know. So, honestly, I thought my outfit was purple, but I remembered it was blue later, and hubby reminded me that it was blue. But, uh, Lori... Be pretty with it, huh? Yeah, Lori mentioned that she'd like to see me do a sugar skull theme with the um, outfit she sent. So, I picked this up. Again, not I thinking it was purple for some daggone reason, knowing she sent me a favorite color blue. Uh, but at least it does have like the little blue tassels on it. Uh, but I thought it would be really cute with it. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for a blue one, but I love sugar skulls, so that can just hang up anywhere. I don't care. And we were looking for some more of those pumpkin spice candles. And I was like, why don't they sell pumpkin spice air freshener? They do. Glade makes a pumpkin spice things up air freshener um so we grabbed that i don't know how much it is like two or three dollars i believe everything else was a buck so far i got this at dollar general um and this is not for me this is actually for zach he does like to eat some healthy foods and on days where he asked me for a healthy snack this is healthier than like regular peanut butter cups so they are now starting to make the two-pack russell stovers these are not really keto friendly. They do have maltitol and some other stuff in them that can mess with you, can spike your insulin levels or glucose levels, can, um, or both. <laughs> and they can mess with you, cause water weight. And if you eat more than two, so if you've got two packs, you're going to go poo. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. Now, because of these and because of this, I told my husband I would really like some nail polish about that color with that kind of shine to it I just love that right now and it's fall and this stuff that I'm wearing keeps chipping off look what he found now I think this is actually a Christmas gift box 
but it's got several orange glitters in there. It's got a beautiful bright blue glitter in there that I will definitely wear. I'm not big on glitter polish because it's hard to get off when you try to use the little spongy things, but once in a while, and I mean, come on now, there's my burnt orange shimmer right there. And then they've got a lighter one and a silver, a bright red, a, I think that's just a glitter one, and of course that bright blue. And this little pack was five bucks. Again, I didn't really want to get it, but I did want to get it. Do you know what I mean? I really wanted that nail polish. And I also got Athena something. I'm not sure. I imagine her mom and dad have given her banana baby food, but I haven't seen it. So this is natural banana baby food and uh, Gerber's. And I thought out Gerber, and I thought I'd give her some, you know, um, while I've got her one day if she's acting hungry and, and really wanting a little something. So I think that's all. No, that's not all. But let me grab it. I'll just. Leave camera on. We did get a few little things to go outside. These have little hands and they float in the wind and we're just going to nail them to the porch. So we got this scully one and the witchy one. She doesn't have hands, she just has sticks. <laughs> but she'll still be nice and wicked looking hanging out there. Um, and a sugar skull thing. Hold on a minute. Da 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 da! A paper, sugar skull, skeleton. Let's face it, I would have bought this in January. Don't care. <laughs> but is he not shiny and pretty? And so, yeah. Hold on, let me put him back. I don't want to just lay him down. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, this is what I got so far with this little area. I kind of like it. It's very, very plain, very simple, but very kind of sweet. I like it. Let's face it, this ain't coming down Halloween or not. <laughs> I really like that sugar skull. It's made out of a cardboard, I guess like a thick cardboard or uh, particle board. I don't really know. But ain't it pretty? I fell in love with that. And I fell in love with these. Yes, we tape off one of our outlets so nobody flips that switch because it don't do nothing. Babies. <laughs> the good news is these need to be wet and it's raining today so you just kind of damp them and stick them on. I only just realized this window really needs to be washed but I don't really mind. It doesn't matter that much. Check this out. See those two trucks parked down there? That's where I seen my Uncle Jimmy walking up through the other day. Bear in mind, he's been gone for uh, eight years now. So. Adorable. The kids like it. Yes, so unfortunately, the nail polish is kind of crappy. <laughs> it's actually more than kind of crappy. Um, so I just painted over the nail polish I already had on. The blue is the only one that has even a, a tint to it. And it's got some little tiny blue metal flakes in there. Uh, the red, just kind of a little bit of red metal flakes. The orange, that's two coats of that orange, and it's not really orangey. That is the this the lighter orange, which did pretty much nothing. This is the black, which just dropped a couple big glitters. <laughs> and this one here is the silver, which would be probably pretty ever white. Um, and it probably makes this a little shinier, but... You can see these nails weren't done, and it didn't really change much of anything. <laughs> I'm disappointed, because I would really like that to be a nice burnt orangey color. I'm going to see if I can't rig it up somehow. We'll see. Alright, you guys. So, did you see anything you like? Do you see anything you have? Oh, okay. Just make sure her diaper was still on. She's taken to not having it on sometimes. Just kind of ripping that sucker off. I thought I would show you the color of these when they're freshly put on. So, uh, since it's later in the day and I'm not going anywhere, I'll just kind of splotch for you here. And I'll look all kind of crazy. It does go on kind of liquidy and it takes a few seconds to dry. not right um nah, I don't like that too much but anyway huh. 
No, no, no. Like Athena said. Of course, she's getting ready to crawl up on my chair. She was over there a second ago. She's getting really fast, y'all. So, did you guys see anything you like? Are you you own? Or do you have a lot of Halloween decorations? Do y'all go to Dollar Tree and stuff very much? We have Dollar Tree and Dollar Generals running out the rear end. Come on up here. Come on. Oh, this young and while ago, I swear she said, I want my Nana. Come on. Come on, stand on up. There you go, so I can get you. Ugh. Say what, my Nana. No, don't eat your fingers. Say what, my Nana. Oh, don't smack me. <laughs> and don't ever take her hand out of her mouth. She wanted her Nana. I was busy putting stuff away. And she, she just hollered out, I want my Nana. Kids are great, aren't they? So anyway, anything else further I get? Do y'all like uh, Dollar Tree hauls, especially mine? Because I know I am not a creative type person. When it comes to crafts, I might as well forget it. Every time I have a bright idea and I try it, it doesn't go so well. So I mean, I pictured something much better up there. I pictured something much better over there, but nah, that's not how it worked out for me. So, what did you think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, and everything you haven't done yet. And visit Jelly over at Fat to Keto. She hasn't asked, but I really would like to help her out. I'd hate to see her lose all her watch time hours and everything. So it's Fat, the number two, Keto, all one word, sandwiched together. Um, she's really great, and I think I said she lost 180 pounds. She's lost 200, I believe, now. Um, I was very distracted while I was watching her video earlier. Are you going to get down on the floor? Is that what we want? Are we getting down? All right, but first... Say bye, y'all. Can you wave? Wave it to people. My arm's going to get tired before you start doing it. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say hey. Can you do your hands? Oh, no. Must be getting a little tired. Okay, guys. So, and I'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow. Maybe not haul, but you'll see me tomorrow. Weird makeup and all. Much love, many prayers.